Important shots. You would think when we are in an important situation where we need to focus up and make no mistakes, that that is what naturally happens. But more often than not, that couldn't be further from the truth. So what makes us miss shots in important situations and how can we fix it? That's what we are talking about today. So sit back, relax, and let's get right on into it. Why do you think Archie missed that seemingly easy shot on that opponent in the first clip in this video? Is it because Archie has bad aim or isn't good enough to hit that shot? Well, of course it isn't. Starting this video off, I want to talk about the fear of disappointing. So in this clip, Archie is not only playing with Venno, arguably the least optimal teammate for this given situation, but he is also streaming in front of hundreds of viewers. Because of this, Archie's focus gets split between what he's doing, in this case playing a 1 vs 1, and about what possible impression he is making on both his viewers and Venno. And when you're not putting all your focus on the task at hand, you simply won't be doing as well as you otherwise can. So what is the solution for Archie? Well, he has to just forget about observers and put all of his focus into the task at hand, killing the opponent remaining in the game. But that is extremely difficult. You guys might have experienced something similar. When you were a kid and wanted to show your parents something, you mastered when you did it on your own, but the second your mother or father watched, you weren't able to execute what you could do perfectly just a few minutes ago. This is the fear of disappointing, and it takes away so much of our focus, because we think one failed action will portray us as bad at something, even though we aren't. This can occur when playing solo cash cups and you're in a call with someone on Discord, when playing duo cash cups and your duo is watching you, or something totally different. And the simple solution to fix the fear of disappointing is to start only caring about your own opinion about your abilities in game. This way you will stay focused during important situations and not waste your focus on thinking about what your friends or duo think about you. As a result, you'll see yourself doing better and better. In short, nobody cares even a tiny little bit whether you win that last one you won or not and you're the only one who's gonna think about it. So even though Venno or anyone else is screaming in your ear, try to fully 1000% shut his voice out of your head and put all of your focus into the task at hand and make yourself proud. Do it for yourself, nobody else. This way, you'll become way more successful. Moving on, you need to stop thinking about what can go wrong and start thinking about what can go right. Overthinking is a serious problem in competitive Fortnite. And maybe Archie failed to think about himself hitting that shot. Maybe even thought, what if I missed this shot right before he took it? Unfortunately for a lot of players, having this what if I missed this shot mentality stops them from winning seemingly easy games. In order to rewire your brain into thinking what can go right instead of wrong, you just need to start forcing yourself to think it every time you are in any situation where you find yourself missing easy shots, overthinking, missing edits, failing builds, or anything in that category. It can be in 1v1s, when taking heights in duos, when fighting off spawn, or simply when rotating to the 50-50 zone. I can guarantee that there are enormous benefits to this mindset change, and few to no benefits with thinking about what can possibly go wrong. Another major reason many players miss important shots in Fortnite is because of their lack of confidence. They don't believe in themselves enough to hit the shot, and this often happens when it matters the most. When hitting the shot determines whether you qualify or not, whether it's a win or a second place, or when your duo is watching and screaming in your ear. So the $10 million question is, how do you become more confident? Firstly, you need to stop putting high expectations on yourself and instead put high goals. All right, hear me out. Before I do a cash cup, I tell myself, I expect to get 120 points. 
This is because I know I can very easily get 120 points. But then I say to myself, but my goal is 160. And then after the cash cup, if I get 134 points, my expectations are exceeded and I gain a little bit of confidence. You should always have realistic expectations and you should set goals you need to work hard to achieve. Another thing a lot of people swear by is telling themselves in their head, I am confident, I will win this. But I personally don't really believe in this at all because I know I can't fool myself and if you aren't naturally confident, saying these things won't, for me anyways, magically make me a confident demon. However, thousands of people say it works, so I would recommend giving it a go, it might just work for you. The third and final way to improve confidence, especially now with duos FNCS around the corner, is just making a deal with your duo that you're gonna hype each other up. Even if one of you mess up badly, you're still gonna hype each other up like, literally, just tell your duo, let's hype each other up, no matter what. Even if one of us messes up badly. It's that simple, and it can do wonders on your confidence. Moving on, some players miss important shots because they set them up way harder than they need to be. Their crosser placement is totally off. They look down in the ground and try to flick onto the opponent. Or they have terrible risk management and try going for a shot on 100 HP when they have minis, bigs, or even splashes. In order to consistently win important fights and hit important shots, the setup for the shot has to be done at a high level. Having good crosser placement and minimizing your risk by being a patient player that pops his shields, or at least splashes, is something that really takes no effort. Just patience and composure. And that leaves me with the last reason you might be missing important shots. And that is the fact that you're afraid of getting max damage pumped. This again kind of goes hand in hand with not thinking about what can possibly go wrong and instead thinking about what can possibly go right. But the problem with thinking you're gonna get max damaged is that you might rush your shot causing you to miss it. So instead of thinking about the small chance of you getting max pumped, focus on taking your time and hitting the best shot you can hit. When you're not even doing a good peek and just taking a 50-50 like Archie did, you're gonna get traded no matter what. So just make sure you take the time you need so you actually hit the shot. And don't rush it. And with that said, that's gonna be it for daily upload number 28. Four weeks of daily uploads. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you're not already aware, I'm gonna be taking a break until FNCS starts. So that's gonna be on Thursday. I'm gonna post a video regarding that tomorrow. But other than that, please go on to have an amazing night. My name is Marin TM. Stay safe and take care.